what is going on guys this is Ben here and today I'm bringing you some attacks with the all warrior strategy or smoky warriors because I don't really use them too often um, and they're actually really good versus player bases not so much on the resource bases but yeah so let's get into my attacks here because you can see I'm really really low on resources and I need some um, need some resources to be able to upgrade some of my things and we can claim that right now we got the ice shards and a magma shard so I can make an ice idol so we'll go back here, and there's actually a decent amount of resources by this guy right here, Momo, or Momio. So yeah, uh, like 100,000 for wood is actually a lot of resources for me to be able to find. And his base does not look too hard, he's only level 39, so it should be easy for us to take, or easy for me to take it out. Uh, but there's one thing I want to know from you guys, what is your favorite troop attack strategy in Boom Beach? Mine is probably the All Rifleman, as most of you, or some of you probably already know. See if we can take all three of those out. Oh um, yeah, we took all three of them out there, sweet. Um, but yeah, mine is all rifle, and I don't know why. I just like, I don't know, I, just because there's so many of them. And my least favorite probably is the Warriors, uh, because I really haven't used them too much. I'm not very skilled with them, I should say, but we're going to give it a try here. I know a lot of people, though, love the Smoky Warriors. Um, so, And it's actually a good attack strategy, but it's just really not my style, I don't know. But... The all riflemen have been, they're getting pretty hard to use at the moment though because they're not they are not as good as I wish they would be at this level. Um, a lot of bases are just too overwhelming for them and my warriors are not in a big group here. So we took a lot of smoke to get to this HQ and some of my warriors are not even in the smoke. Bad placement by me. So but we're going to shock bomb some things here. We're going to shock bomb right here. I'm kind of late on those. So let's see how our warriors do. They're taking down this HQ pretty quickly. And we lost a few of them, but hey, like I said, I'm a little rusty with my warrior tag strategy. Not the greatest. And um, so yeah, took out that base fairly easy and we got a ton of resources. And two, two magma fragments, sweet. So we lost 14 warriors there, unfortunately. And my upgrade to level five cannon is complete. Oh, that's sweet as well, awesome. And I don't have enough gold to even deploy my submarine right now, so we're going to reclaim this. What is it, though? Building... Defensive building damage. Okay. Reclaim that. Uh, and I can make a idol for my uh, troops now. Oh, yeah, I just want to show you guys something quick, though, for my operation here. We're doing Hacksaw, which is the one right before Upper Lip, which we failed last time. But we got a one-hit kill right here by Sarge, I think it was. He's using the hookah strategy. I also like the hookahs a lot. The heavies and zookas are really good attack strategy as well. Um, so heavy zookas and riflemen are definitely my favorite. But yeah, he's moving. He's chugging along through this base here, taking out the boom cannons. That's what was. That's what his main objective was. And he actually was able to take them out. And he did a lot more here, as you can see. He would. He actually took out the entire base because these zookas are out of range of everything. And there's like six seconds left, I want to say by the time he beat the base. Um, so it was a run against the clock with these four Zookas here, but he actually beat the base, so definitely can, uh, props to him, nice attack. Sarge K, okay. So let's see here, I oh, you can check my other idol now. Where is it? There it is. Troop health, plus 6%, we're gonna reclaim that. Looking for the masterpieces. Oh, we can make the Guardian now though. Okay, let's finish these, only 28. The nice thing about the warriors, though, is they don't. The warriors is they don't take that long to make, and they really are not that expensive. So, and they're a really strong attack strategy. I may have to use them. So I'm thinking about pushing up in medals. I'm not sure. Maybe make a try and get to like 500 medals or something like that, or even 600. I'm not too sure yet. Um, so this base has a shock launcher, and. Got a lot of resources. Maybe we come, we'll probably come back to him in a little bit. See if there's anyone a little easier. This guy has the same amount of resources. Um, WY. Let's, let's see what he's got. Ooh. Okay. He's dropping his medals. And we'll take his base, I guess. I mean, why not? Okay, I don't want to lose any warriors, though. So there's one boom mine left. I could lose a warrior. Um, actually no, I, I don't want to. Okay, so what we're gonna do, smoke the beach. 
flare onto that HQ. And then smoke the HQ. And... Stun, stun, stun. Medkit, and we should be good to go here. So, no warriors lost. Hey, no warriors lost, guys. Um, that's my first time with no warriors lost on a base. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> a guy trying to drop medals, but okay. So, not that hard at all, which I didn't expect it to be, but so we got that guy's pretty much free loot right there. And let's see. Let's see here. Anyone else got some... Oh, so we've got some wood over here. Let's check it out. So, yeah. That was my cousin just tweeting at me from the... Because I uh, tweeted about uh, 5,000 subscribers, dude. That is awesome. I'm going to keep going strong, though. Alright. Where do I want to attack from this guy's base? So all his mines over here, so we don't have to worry about mines. Uh, we'll go from the right-hand side. And if I, if there are any tips for you guys, um, from you guys about using the warrior attack strategy or anything you found, let me know. So I'm always open for, uh, always open for some information. And there's just a truck going around screaming that it's Friday. <laughs> but okay, let's see. We're gonna smoke here. Smoke here. They're gonna get hit for a little bit, but that's okay. And then we're gonna go directly to the HQ. Trying to save as much. Uh, so we lost a couple warriors in that. Kind of just left them out to dry, but we got a lot of energy. I was able to throw three shocks. And we got that, um, that artillery there, so let's see how this goes. The warriors, we lost a few warriors, but we took down the base. Not bad at all. I had, I had some, I, I just gotta get down the, sh the smoke placement because um, mine, mine's a little a little off compared to probably some of you have who have been using this attack strategy a lot. So we got some intel, we lost 18 warriors and we got a magma shard. That is pretty sweet. Okay, so we got to reclaim these, or not reclaim, remake these, get all this stuff, diamond those, and what can I upgrade right now? Hmm. Not much anything that I really wanted to upgrade. I don't really know what I want to upgrade though, so we're gonna attack one more time. Maybe try and take out this hard base. We'll try and take out Zack. With that shock launcher. We'll see how this goes, guys. Um So if we go head on, I don't know what how my warriors are gonna get there. Um We could go to the left. Take out the shock. And see how things go from there. I mean, we could try it, guys. Oh, he's got his, all his boom cannons. Actually, no, nah, I don't want to attack him. Don't want to try it. We'll attack this guy, though. 42. All right, he's got a shock launcher. He has to have. No, he doesn't. Okay, sweet. This guy does not have a shock launcher. So we're going to go from the left and over just to avoid all those mines. We shall see how this goes. So warriors are going over here. And I love how my, I think my flares are like 20 seconds or 15 seconds long, which is a super long amount. Oh, they're getting hit by the rocket launchers. And that's when I'm going to flare them over here. You guys will have a med kit waiting for you, don't worry. And we got a long ways to go to that HQ. Simply... We're going straight for the HQ. Okay. That flamethrower though is just eating my guys alive, gosh. So let's hope these warriors can take it out. They're getting constant... I think I shocked a few of them. So I dropped another artillery shell there. Warriors are going down. Can we get this base? No, we can't. We got that one warrior left. He's chugging along on his own there. Come on, man. Aw, oh, he died out. So, maybe it wasn't my best run. 
But hey, I'm still learning. Still learning the warrior tactic. It's alright. Maybe I shouldn't go from that for, for long runs like that. Oh my goodness. But we'll give it one more attempt here. One more try. Maybe, maybe we'll go like straight on this time. Go through the mines. Yeah, we'll go through the mines. And we'll just... We'll, um, what do we want to do? We'll barrage. And see how that goes. So we're going now. Flaring up to your head. We're learning. We're learning. That's all that matters. But in my last video, I had so many fails. Oh, it was bad. I hope to not have a repeat video like this. Oh, I guess I got a flare. To the HQ. Med kit you guys. I'll get you healed up. Damn. Damn, man. Okay. Sorry, I was just... I don't want my warriors to die by that one uh, flamethrower. Okay. Now this is the hard part, because the shocks are gone. The warriors are taking out this base. Come on, guys. Come on, now. I can't. I can't take it out. Come on, lone warrior. He's getting shot by sniper tower. He's getting that mortar launch at him. We can't do it. Can't do it. Maybe if I boosted my statues with troop defense, I would be able to. But I'm trying to save my power powder. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Like I said, though, if you have any tips for the warriors, make sure to leave them in the comments. because I, I'll, And also your favorite troop strategy. So I'm trying to get better with them. As you can see, I'm a little a little shady with them. Not, not the best. But hey, I'm learning. And we can upgrade this loading landing craft though. So we're gonna upgrade that. It's gonna take some eight hours. Or it take eight hours because it's level 11 and everyone else is level 12. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Boom Beach videos if you have not already. And I'll see you guys later.